It's Mark Weens here. I am in Yangon, which is a beautifully chaotic city here in Myanmar. It's always a little bit intense, but the street culture here is absolutely fascinating and always entertaining. I'm gonna be cruising around the city and I'm going to go to 11 of what I think are the top attractions or things to do when you're in Yangon. So keep watching this video and let's explore and discover Yangon together. Right now I am at the Shwedagon Pagoda, an incredible golden Chedi Pagoda. Well, it's actually a cloudy day today, but it's so bright and gold that I cannot even like look at it without squinting. The golden stupa of the Shwedagon Pagoda is visible throughout the entire city of Yangon. It's not only a well-preserved heritage monument, but it's one of the most sacred religious sites in Myanmar. Many people come to the pagoda to perform a series of rituals according to the day they were born, and also to walk circumferences around the base of the pagoda. The Shwedagon Pagoda is a place you really should not miss when you're in Yangon. One of my absolute favorite things to do in Yangon, but actually in any city that I visit, is to just walk around and explore the local fresh market. This is just a neighborhood downtown market on, I think we're on Street 26, uh, but if you want to go to a bigger, a bigger, more like distribution market, there's a market called Kiri Mingalar Market, which is further outside of town a little bit. So many awesome fresh ingredients and such fantastic street life. Um, action, everything. One of the interesting things about this market is that small little delivery trucks and vehicles will pass through this road, even though it's so busy. And there are people selling in the middle of this road, but they'll just, um, they'll, the big things they'll sort of scurry to set aside, but then the truck will actually roll right over some of the low baskets of food, which is pretty cool to see. <laughs> Built in 1926, Bojok Ongsan Market, also commonly known by its former name of Scott Market, is a colonial designed market center in downtown Yangon. There's an outdoor section of the market that's famous for its cobblestone streets, and then a main indoor section. It's uh, really popular for jewelry, for all sorts of souvenirs, clothes, and kind of like handicrafts. Uh, you'll find all that stuff here at this market. I think right now the power is off, so it's a little dark in here, but there is still enough light to walk around and see what, what there is available. You'll find all sorts of fabric uh, at this market, as well as Burmese style dresses um, and lots of different clothing as well. I am at the Sule Pagoda, which you can see right behind me, that golden, golden stupa pagoda. And it's one of the most important religious, historical, uh, as well as, as just um, city landmarks in Yangon. It seems like basically all of the streets in central downtown Yangon all lead to the pagoda. I think inside of the, inside of the actual pagoda there's not that much to see, but it's sort of everything that surrounds it uh, is what I really like to explore when I'm here. There are all sorts of government buildings as well as other religious buildings as well as loads and loads of street life that just surrounds the Sule Pagoda. Chinatown in Yangon usually refers to the area of 24th Street through 18th Street and just west of the Shule Pagoda in downtown Yangon. It's one of the busiest and most action-packed areas of town, especially in the evening when the sides of the streets teem with food vendors. 19th Street is especially well known as the Barbecue Street. It's lined with restaurants that have all things skewers ready to be chosen and barbecued up. Just grab a table, choose whatever looks good, have a beer, and relax and eat. I am at Kondaji Park, which is one of the central uh, lake parks in Yangon. And it's actually a very rainy day, unfortunately. So I just uh, stopped by at the nearest coffee shop I could find to have a cup of coffee. But anyway, this is a really nice park to walk around. Uh, it's especially nice 
in the evening time when you have a nice view of the Shwedagon Pagoda and the sunset. There are a number of different restaurants and cafes which you can relax at and just a nice getaway from the chaotic busyness of Yangon downtown. Today I am at the Chaktatji Paya, which is a 65 meter long reclining Buddha. It's absolutely gigantic as you can see behind me. It appears like many people are having lunch um, on the floor of this, of this temple. There's some good looking food around here too. I just finished walking around the National Museum of Myanmar here in Yangon. Uh, it was definitely a, a, an interesting museum. Lots and lots of gold, art, history, relics, artifacts, all sorts of stuff. Uh, the museum itself was a little bit old and sort of dark and a little murky almost. Uh, but if you love history and if you want to learn more about the, the art and history of Myanmar, uh, definitely check out the National Museum here in Yangon. Here's my ticket. It was uh, 5000 for entrance. Today we are taking the circular train railroad route, uh, which is uh, a train that goes kind of a big circumference around the city in a circle. And I think there's 39 stations or something that it stops off at. But just gonna take this as a leisure ride and see some of the local, local life uh, in, uh, in and around Yangon. Uh, it's 300 chat per person, so that's like 30 cents. Trains are a fairly common form of public transportation throughout Myanmar. And there's a circular loop route, which was built by the British back in 1954. The circular railroad runs for just under 50 kilometers, stops at 39 stations, and takes about three hours to complete. If you have a half a day to spare when you're in Yangon, and if you're interested in seeing the culture and life that surrounds the outskirts of the city. Taking the circular railroad is a pretty cool thing to do. My highlight of the ride was Danyangon Station, which was almost in the middle of the route, where there was a huge market full of fresh fruits and vegetables waiting to be transported. In a city like Yangon, you just never know what you're going to find, see, or experience when you're randomly walking around. Businesses of every kind, street food stalls, tea stalls, sprawling markets with colorful produce, haircuts under a tree on the road, temples of a diversity of religions, that's just the beginning. I was in Yangon during the rainy monsoon season, but whether it rains or shines, you are guaranteed to see action in every direction when you're on a stroll. Make sure you are careful crossing the main roads. Pedestrians, by all means, don't have the right of way, so just be careful. But other than that, just start walking around the streets of downtown, and you'll see life unfolding in front of you. Myanmar is slotted between India, China, and Thailand, and the flavors of their cuisine have been influenced by this spectrum of regional diversity. Walking down the street in downtown, you literally can't go more than a few steps without arriving at the next food stall. I personally just can't get enough of the omnipresent street food being whipped up on every corner and every open space of sidewalk. There are many different foods to try, including what's considered the national dish, Mohinga which is a bowl of rice noodles served in a fish-based broth that's sort of a cross between a soup and a curry. Another famous dish is la peto, a savory salad prepared from pickled tea leaves. Along with street food snacks, a trip to Yangon would not be complete without a full-on Myanmar curry feast. Another part of the food culture I love in Myanmar is drinking tea. Tea plays a major part in the social culture of Myanmar, and basically every sidewalk throughout Yangon is occupied at some point throughout the day by a tea stall. Just pull up a miniature plastic stool, order a snack, and sip on hot tea while the streets and life around you continues at its fast pace. One of the best ways to experience Yangon to its fullest is to just walk around the city with no plans at all and let the city flow around you. When you're ready for a break, grab a pink plastic stool, order a salad or some samosas, drink cups of hot tea, and absorb the life and the culture of the city. The friendly culture of the people, delicious food, beautiful attractions, and the lively action of Yangon are just a few of the many reasons you should visit.
nothing like walking down the street in Yangon and just all of a sudden feeling a warm, goopy splatter on the top of your head. They do say that that getting getting crapped on by birds is good luck. Hopefully it's a lucky day for me. Hey, it's Mark Wiens. I just want to say a huge thank you for watching this video about Yangon, Myanmar. I had a great time exploring the city and also tasting all sorts of delicious foods. If you enjoyed this video, I would be really thankful if you would give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment below, and also if you have a friend who you think would love this video as well, I would be really grateful if you would share this video with them. Thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next video.